Hello and good morning. Welcome back to another day at Disneyland. It's a nice crisp 6.50 in the morning. I only ended up getting about uh, three and a half hours of sleep last night, but that's totally okay because I can just run on Disney magic and caffeine. <laughs> My mom's still sleeping, so I don't want to talk too much, but uh, let's get ready. <laughs> ready to hit the parks. It is 7.30. We've got about 30 minutes until opening. If you missed the last vlog, today is our second Disney day. Yesterday was just amazing. Easily one of the best days of my life. It was Grace's first time at Disney. My first time in a couple years and we somehow got upgraded to this absolutely incredible suite. Easily the nicest hotel room I've ever seen. Probably the nicest one I will ever see in my lifetime. So I'm gonna take an extra couple seconds here and uh, soak in this view because wow. <laughs> so my parents got one day tickets, but Steven, me, Austin, and his girlfriend Bethany got two day tickets. So we're gonna be doing uh, the second Disney day, the five of us, cause four of us plus Grace. But since we have the hotel room until 11, that's when we have to check out today. Grace is gonna stay in the hotel room with my parents until probably like 10.30. And the four of us are gonna go into California Adventure and try to crank out all of the thrill rides at the beginning of the day. The things we can't do with Grace anyways. And and then uh, we'll come back here, pack up, check out, and bring Grace back in the park for uh, another fun-filled Disney day. So let's get to it. Wait, wait, one more second of this view. Unreal, unreal. <laughs> I got a coffee and we are heading to Web Slingers. Web Slingers, Guardians, and we've only been in the park for an hour, so that's pretty good. We're on our way over to do our lightning lane for Incredicoaster, and Austin and Bethany wanted to film a TikTok. <laughs> I don't know your passcode. Well, Make me wanna dribble, dribble, you know, riding in my what? You really gotta squat? <laughs> Incredicoaster was amazing. <laughs> Fun ride as always. And we waited for the front, which for most roller coasters, I'm not down for the extra weight. I'll just take any seat. Incredicoaster, so worth it. Especially with like the fast takeoff. <laughs> But it's about 10.15 now. We are actually just about to get on Goofy Sky School. We've got a lightning lane for it, and then we're gonna head back to the room, pack up, pick up Grace, and continue the day. All right, Grace is in the stroller, bags are packed, <laughs> trash is picked up, Steven's getting his shoes on, and it's time to say goodbye to this magnificent room. <laughs> Until next time. Well, probably not. Th there's not gonna be a next time. <laughs> Can't forget the balloon. All right, y'all, can you guess where we are headed for lunch? <laughs> Leave your answers in the comments below. If, if you're new to my channel in the past like two and a half years, this is gonna be new for you. If not, you know exactly what's about to go down. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that majestic shot. Worthy only of the most amazing pasta in the entire world. The chicken sun-dried tomato pesto, but I get it with no chicken. And also in here, they have uh, the beverage machines with the crunchy ice. You can get a cup of water with the most amazing nugget ice. Look at the artistry. Thank you. Got the pasta and I'm gonna divvy some up for Grace and her little plate. Gracie, are you ready to try the best 
pasta that has ever been created in the history of ever. Absolutely no response. <laughs> I got you a fork, hun. There you go, fork for Steven. Put a little bit in for Grace. I think I think she's really gonna love this. The thing is, this pasta is, thank you, my favorite thing. But I feel like pretty much everyone that I've had try this is like, it, it's, it's mediocre, it's good, it's fine. It's nothing special. But I think it is the single best thing that's ever been created on this planet. And specifically when I was pregnant with Grace, I craved this so much. And so now to finally have it, I've just got to savor this first bite. Okay. Bethany's trying it for the first time too. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Somehow even better that I remembered. Oh my gosh. Would you like to try some? Try some of that one. That's mama's. Oh, you want dad does? <laughs> right there. You've got spaghetti and you have the best pasta ever. What do you, oh, okay. <laughs> yep, there it is. Yep. Can you grab the noodle? What do you think? <laughs> she, she said meh. More for me. Just got over to Disneyland with the uh, new reservation system and park hopping rules. Whatever park you start at, you have to stay there until 1 p.m. So we did a couple more rides over there and then uh, made our way over to Disney. Grace has taken a nap in the stroller and we got a fast pass for Matterhorn that's good in I think like five minutes. So that is where we're headed. up and we were gonna take her on some more rides here in Fantasyland. Are you waving at me? You are so sweet. But uh, we're at that time of day where like everything is a pretty long wait. So I think maybe the carousel, that's 20 minutes. I know, you wanna do Dumbo, huh? That's an hour. <laughs> I don't think you wanna wait an hour. JK, carousel just went up to 35, so. So we might go try to meet a character because that wasn't originally something we were gonna try to do with Grace. I just didn't think that she would be at an age where she'd be interested in it yet. But yesterday we walked by some of the characters and she got so excited. She was like squealing and kicking her legs and clapping and pointing, but they had already closed the line. So we thought maybe that's something we'd try. Try to do today. Where do you want to go? You tell me. The castle? Castle. Go on a boat. All right, we just sat down. We got some doll whip. It is a uh, slightly melted in Here's the time for the skippers out there. What We're right by the speaker. Elephant in the boathouse. What do you call an elephant in a boathouse? Would you like to try some Dole Whip? Dole Whip is probably like my favorite Disney sweet treat. I think you could try some. Do you want to try some? Another thing I heavily craved during my pregnancy, I think at one point I joked about driving down here literally just to get this. I like the float. They put the, the soft serve in just pineapple juice. And usually they give you like a, a cute little umbrella and a cherry, but they were all out. Hi, big girl. Would you like to try a little bit of Dole Whip? It's a little bit tart, but I think you're gonna like it. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> That's awfully yummy, isn't it? Oh, hey. hello. You look marvelous. You look marvelous. Here, I have some water too. Would you like some water? Okay, let me refill your sippy cup. <laughs> 
Did you stick your whole hand in Dada's Dole Whip? Well, we are gonna uh, sit here and enjoy our Dole Whip. Got a really, really nice spot in the shade back here with a little view of Jungle Cruise, so that's really cool. And uh, depending on how long the wait is, we might try to take Grace into the Tiki Room after this, because I, I think she'd really like all the animatronic birds and the music. So it's about 6.15 now. We did a couple more rides. Um, I think Steven took a couple clips on Haunted Mansion, so I'll insert those here. But we were gonna head over to California Adventure and finish out the day with Little Mermaid before we head home. And on our way out, well, we had been trying to have Grace meet Mickey all day. <laughs> Could not find him. We found him at one point, but the line was closed. And as we were walking out, there was a line to meet Mickey. So we decided Grace has already done Little Mermaid. This is like the pinnacle of how to end a Disney day, having Grace meet Mickey. So we hopped in line, we're gonna wait it out. There he is, right right there, that is, that's what we're headed to. You ready to meet Mickey? Yeah, you're gonna meet Mickey. Grace, very excited to meet Mickey. <laughs> we just realized Steven, Probably my first time too. Never met Mickey. My parents were telling us that when I was like, I think one or two, they waited like two hours at Mickey's house in Toontown because I really, really wanted to meet him. So comparatively to that, this is nothing. We've been waiting for like, I think 15 minutes. Do you see Mickey? I can't see Mickey. Tome la foto con Do you see him? He's right there. It's almost our turn. Good job, Mickey. Well, <laughs> we tried. We were literally two people away and they were like, Mickey has to go. He can't meet the rest of the people in the line. Oh, we got to see him. So now you can return. So I gotta buy him. Hi, Grace. I'm Mickey Mouse. Huh? That one? You wanna pick which one? You like this one? <laughs> you like it? <laughs> you can pick one, okay? You can get one souvenir. <laughs> that Mickey? Which one? This one? <laughs> this one? You decide, okay? Mickey or Little Mickey? <laughs> little Mickey it is. <laughs> Perfect memento for her first Disney trip of many. You want your Mickey? <laughs> You're Mickey, huh? And that is a wrap on Grace's first Disney trip. All right, well, it is a couple days later now, <laughs> and we still have not stopped talking about this trip. Yeah, I mean, so the vlog, Disney vlog just went up today. Mm -hmm. I've watched it four times. <laughs> It's just like such a good happy memory, so. And I just finished editing the second one and now I'm sure you're gonna watch that one like eight million times. No, I'm very excited to watch Steve saying he's excited to watch Steve. <laughs> oh, that was such a fun trip. It was so perfect. I feel like going into it, I kept trying to like, you know, temper my expectations. We we're with an uh, 11 month old. It's Disneyland, you know, sometimes things don't always go perfectly, but like, yeah, I, I even went in kind of pessimistic. I was like, this can go wrong in so many ways. And it, it can, 
But it didn't. No, it didn't. It was, it was an easy, fun trip. So yeah. it, was a, it was a blessing on many levels. All my expectations were exceeded. It was like truly perfect. I will say the one thing that was really hard with doing Disney with a baby versus like the pre-baby times was when we got home. <laughs> yeah, because you're just like, you're just so tired on another level that like you just... Yeah, we got home at 9 p.m. We were so tired before we would have, you know, just like collapsed in bed, slept in the next day, but we have a baby to take care of. Yeah, that was definitely different. Do a bath time. Like there, there was no going to bed right away. Yeah. Um, but it was fun. It was, it was definitely worth it. Worth it a million times over. I, <laughs> I actually booked another day at Disney for next month. We're going to VidCon. And so I had talked to Steven about like, hey, I think I want to go up a day early with Grace since I have a hotel in yeah. Anaheim at the convention center anyways which is across the street from mm -hmm. disneyland literally know, like so a half mile walk <laughs> and do disney with grace and steven was like let's wait to book it see how this trip goes you know see pessimistic steve yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and i think within an hour of being at the park steven turned to me and he goes book the book the ticket <laughs> and uh she did without any hesitation yes <laughs> And uh, we're also in the very early, just kind of hypothetical planning stages of uh, wanting to put together a Disney World trip, so. Yeah, based around a work trip for me. Yes. Potentially. Yeah, Steven has a conference in Orlando, and so he was like, you know what else is in Orlando? <laughs> but yeah, it is, uh, it's pretty clear that we had a great time, and uh, I'm excited to get back there again. Me too. I love you. I love you. Mm. I love Grace. I want to go give her a little kiss on the forehead, but she is sleeping, <laughs> so I will not. <laughs> yeah, I'm speaking of sleep, what a great time to end the vlog. Yeah. Um, yeah, thanks for you guys for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye. Bye.